Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to send SMS from Google Sheet and to send SMS from Google Sheet we are going to make use of uh, this uh, platform which uh, provide API for us and we are going to use that API to send the SMS using Google Apps Script. That is what we are going to see in this video. I have given a link in the description. Uh, you can just do a free sign up and get some free credits in your local currency. You can use that to uh, test this API. Let's start writing uh, the script to send SMS from Google Sheet. So before that, uh, we need to get the uh, authorization key. So to get the authorization key, click on this icon and copy your AP key and note down your username. And now go to base 64 encode online or type something like that because uh, we have to convert our ap key to the authorization key so here just paste the ap key and before that before pasting an ap key type your username and my username is amarantas now paste the ap key without any space and now click on encode so this is your authorization key and we are going to use this authorization key on Google Sheet. So just copy it down and go to send SMS. So here I already made a template ready. So here we have two tabs, settings and send number. Let me brief it out shortly. In the settings tab, you can see authorization key. So type basic, give one space and now paste the authorization key that you have copied. That's it. So let me put a border for it and we are going to get the authorization key from settings tab and this is a send number tab. Here we have a four columns, serial number and the list of mobile number where you want to send the SMS and what is the custom message to each number that you have to put it over here and this status will get updated based on the API response. Let me close this tab. Go to tools and click on script editor. So let's name this uh, project as uh, send SMS. Click on rename. Let me modify the function name as send SMS from Google Sheet. And now I'm going to create a variable for accessing the sheet so let's name this a spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and now let's create two variable one for this settings tab and another one to access the content inside the send number tab let me name that a settings use get sheet by name and use the same for send sms as well now copy the settings sheet name put it over here inside the double quotes do the same for send number put it over here inside the double quotes now let me create one more variable for auth key Let's name this as auth key and I can use the settings variable get, get value or maybe I can use a method get range and my authorization key is present on the very first row but on second column 1 comma 2 get value. So this will return the uh, auth key value and I'm going to use a simple for loop to loop from row 2 to till the last row where it contains the mobile number so uh, to determine the total number let me create one more variable called total numbers I can easily find the total number using this send sms dot get last row So I got all the 
uh, details that I need uh, for the for loop. So let's create a for loop starting from row two and i lesser than or equal to total numbers then i plus plus so inside the for loop i'm going to create a two dynamic variable one is a number and one should be a number and this uh, number variable should hold the value of mobile number during each iteration so we can use this send sms dot get range so during each iteration the row is going to vary so i can use that i variable here and the number is stored on the column 2 so i need to give 2 here followed by get value and the same goes for message as well let me create a variable called message and the message is present on the column 3 so let's rename this to 3 so now uh, we need to make use of the api for sending an sms so you can find the documentation uh, in the description i have given a link in the um, description for this api documentation uh, let me show you how to create an api for that let's create a variable called the const url and here you need to pass the url so just paste it here i already noted down on my notepad and we have to pass some parameters let's name that variable as params and here you need to define the method and the method is post followed by headers and inside the header you need to uh, mention the authorization key so already we got the auth key here just copy that and give the auth key here comma followed by um, then you need to define the content type and the content type should be application hyphen json separate that by comma and your payload so payload should be in a string so we can use of the json.stringify method and inside the stringify method we can pass the json object you should send the payload uh, in the form of array with a key called messages separate that with a colon and pass all the information inside the array and inside the array you can create a multiple dictionary but i'm going to create a, a one a dictionary with the details and i'm going to uh, pass the details number and message to this dictionary so that i can get the response for each number so that's why i'm doing like this so inside the dictionary you need to mention the body and we got the body value here which we already stored in the message variable and you need to define the source so from where you are invoking the api let's name this as google app script this is not uh, going to send in the sms only your message will go here this is just for your reference and then the two number where you want to actually send the sms and we already stored the two number in this number variable we just put that here so now we are done with an api and it's time to get the response and update the response on the google sheet let me create one more variable called res and your fetch app dot fetch call the url which we already stored here this url put it over here and pass the extra params so this will take care of invoking the api and uh, if this res get response code is 200 then we can 
update the fourth column as a success else we'll update that as failed send sms dot get range of i comma four dot set value set the value success because we got the success response else market has failed so that's it we are done with the method to send the sms from google sheet so here i have given a two custom message and uh, now i'm going to enter some random uh, indian number don't try this here so before entering the number you have to mention the country code and the country code begins with plus but if you type plus followed by any number this google sheet convert that uh, uh, into a numerical format and it will remove the plus here so as you see here so to retain the plus use a single quote followed by plus and your country code and your number where you want to send the sms so i'm just entering some random number let's name this as one two three so let's click on the run and click the review permission select your email click on the advanced go to this send sms click on allow that's it now the authorization is successful so the execution begins execution completed let's go and check the status so it's failed because the number here is invalid let me try with a valid number So now click on the run so here the execution is completed and if you go and check the status both are success which means the um, sms is sent to this particular number successfully and that's it for this video i have given a link in the youtube description to download this google sheet just for one dollar just go ahead and check that out and also i have given a link in the uh, description to uh, get the free ap key with free uh, credits to send sms just go ahead and check that out as well thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye